Haley's objective was entirely different. Haley was a Republican. He was black, but he was a Republican, a liberal Republican. Uh, he was an integrationist. Malcolm was a black nationalist. Mm-hmm. Haley despised what the Nation of Islam stood for. But he was fascinated and riveted by the charismatic personality of Malcolm. So the two men collaborated on the book uh, for different reasons. As the book was being written, Malcolm's view of the nation changed. And the listeners will recall that Malcolm was silenced by Elijah Muhammad after the so-called chickens come home to roost uh, statement by Malcolm on the death of, uh, of uh, John F. Kennedy. This was simply uh, used as an excuse to eliminate Malcolm from the organization by Elijah Muhammad. When Malcolm departed the nation in March 1964, and then the next month going to Mecca on Hajj, a religious pilgrimage, he transformed his faith to that of Sunni Islam, Orthodox Islam. And so therefore the purpose of the autobiography was not to praise Elijah Muhammad, but rather to explain why he had changed. And so Malcolm, supposedly, according to Haley, himself eliminated three chapters that he and Haley had prepared when he was still in the Nation of Islam and jettisoned them from the book. Now, it's hard for us to make a critical judgment if that's true or not. Because, after all, Malcolm was dead after February 21st, 1965. We only have Haley's word to go on it. Haley was hostile to Malcolm in the nation anyway. And the chapters contained critical political information about how Malcolm wanted to build a broadly-based black united front to fight against racism. I always, for years, would read the autobiography and sense, you know, something's missing from this book. Mm -hmm. You know what was missing? missing. Malcolm was the most overtly political personality of his generation. He was building a new organization, the OAAU, Mm -hmm. the Organization of Afro-American Unity. Answer answer this question. Where is the political program of the OAAU Mm. in, in his book? It's not there, is it? Where is the political strategy to unite and empower the black community? It's not in his autobiography. He talks around it, but he doesn't talk to it. The answer is is that a lot of that was deleted. Hmm. So where is the, where are these chapters? Well, as of the last time I checked, they're in a safe in Detroit in the possession of an attorney, Gregory Reed, who purchased them in in late 1992 for $100,000 at an auction after the death of of Alex Haley. And he he picked them up at the estate auction. Hmm. I mean, you know, was it done at the back of death, the deletion of these three chapters? Uh, of the well, Haley, Haley says that Malcolm had agreed to it, so we we have only his word to go on. But you also have to keep in mind Haley was hostile to Malcolm when he was Malcolm's politics when he was in the Nation of Islam. So we're, I'm not certain. Well, was the uh, Haley have connection to the FBI? Was he like a FBI uh, agent? He was not an agent, but he was an informant. And if you re- you have obviously read, uh, or at least part of Living Black History, my book that came out mm-hmm. in uh, 2006, yes, where I stunned many people with the in- with the evidence that I found at the University of Tennessee archives in Knoxville, in the Anne Romaine papers, and also in Haley's papers, that Haley in 1962 was approached by the FBI, and they funneled information to him and a white author, Alfred Balk, to write an attack on the Nation of Islam entitled The Black Merchants of Hate, which appeared in the Saturday Evening Post magazine in late February 1963, and it was information from the FBI. So he was an agent, he was an informant, in effect, 
the purveyor of misinformation. And it was that man who went on to then, of course, write Roots. Right, and he had some trouble with that too. I mean, as far as yes, right. indeed, being sued by a British author successfully settled it out of court for over a million dollars for plagiarism of extensive writing from uh, the uh, British author's work. So Haley has a very mixed history. 